So now we're recording, and it says uh, I'm running on reserve battery. So I need my. Would you get my thing, please? Oh yeah. This is like it's not my day. So anyway, so I'm recording, and we're gonna go ahead and get my battery hooked up. And um, I'm gonna go to YouTube because I know I can find a video there. Thank you. No, mine. No, I can't. Oh. No, no, no. Sit, sit. I'll get it. So all I'm going to do now is go to YouTube. Well, you could have you said YouTube right there. I'm already on my site. Man, this is like this is screwed up, man. I don't get it. If you saw Kate Kinsella. Okay. All right. Just any old YouTube. I don't care. So we're anymore. looking at Connie's great YouTube page. These are wonderful things she's made. And just want to manage her if you can find Yeah, mm -hmm. just find something. And we're going to okay. watch a trailer. Okay? Can't see. On the screen. Oh. Why? Am I, am I in the yeah, way? In the way. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> so this is a trailer that we made. All right? So we can now... Decrease the, decrease the sound of the YouTube if we wanted to. And talk over it. And talk over it. And I could say, this is what our faculty looks like when they do orientation. And you notice I'm still I'm still recording up at the top here. Oh, excuse me. Move the screen up a little bit. And so I can then provide information to my students on what it is they need to do as they look at this. You should pay particular attention to this and particular attention to that. And all I did was just take a bunch of pictures of these students that we were at last week. We put them in a trailer, and that was it, and now it's over with. So that's how to use screencasts. So now it's like I want to switch sites. Push pause. <clears throat> so now we're at the Wordle site. And the Wordle site is after you've given the students something to do and you're capturing their responses, Wordle then asks you to just go ahead and import um, text. So highlight that text, just the Wordle is a toy. And then copy it, go to create, paste it, and then go. Please don't take forever. Okay, so then it gives you a Wordle. And you can change this, and you can change color, you can change font, you can do a lot of different things with it. The thing about a Wordle is, obviously it's on this side here, but you can change layouts, you can change, there's all sorts of things you can do with it. Um, a Wordle can tell you what words were used the most so that you can decide um, for this thing on, on um, what a Wordle is. I know Wordle was used the most, and that um, loud cloud was used the second most. So that, let's say you're having the kids do something with vocabulary, or you're asking them to do something with a character that they read about, they could go ahead and write it up, and then you can put this on Wordle to see, did they get the main points about that character? And this is just a quick and dirty. This allows you to know what direction you should go in for teaching that day, called just-in-time teaching. Okay, go to, um, go back to you. Can you go back to YouTube? Mm -hmm. It's an unfriendly place. I'll just do it the old school okay. way. Do you want to see stop motion at all? I guess I don't care. Just anything. Okay. Just go to YouTube. I don't care what. Um, Lesson planning. Anything. Let me see if I can pull up my lesson. Nope. Okay. okay so I don't care. Just give me something. All right. Okay. That's fine. Click it. All right. So now you see the URL. Show them where the URL is. This is the URL here, okay? What you're going to do is copy that URL. Okay, you can turn it off. Hopefully now. there's nothing naughty on this. I sure hope there's nothing naughty on this. <laughs> and then um, you're going to go to keep vid. You're going to put your URL in that box. And then you're going to say download. Do not push any of those other buttons. <laughs> Bad things Do happen. Do not push any of those other buttons. Just push the one that says go right by your URL. Mm -hmm. All that other buttons are stuff that will confuse you with something they're trying to sell you. You don't want any of that. 
So what happened? What is it doing? It's going to take a while to download. It's about a minute or two. Okay. Long so long. what's happening is it's, it's going to download, and we're just going to go to another, and we're going to come back, and you're going to see once it's downloaded, it will be an MP4, or MV, MOV, or Wave. MP4. Uh, what's the other site? Um, the, oh, Google Doc. Click into Google Doc real quick. All right. Google Drive. It'll be an MP4. You can put it anywhere you want. Yes. Yep. It, I'm telling you, it's the, all that. YouTube is blocked at school. Yes. Go home and you download something, and either it's a CD or now, can you take that video and take it on a Wi Finder? Yes. Well, Absolutely. What well, is, is it's better to link it to YouTube. Live Binder would link it to YouTube. Okay, that's, that's where it gets a little that, that, that's right. Cool. That's where it gets a little um, <coughs> fuzzy. You have to do workarounds like Dropbox. I would do Dropbox. Yeah, you can put it I up would and, do drop, drop. and link it to Dropbox. I would okay. do a screencast but and put it on Dropbox because if you want to pull it down at school, if you go to the link, that's the YouTube link. Right. And you can also, I don't know if, um, did I show them how to trim? Okay, well, you're talking. Get up. Get up. <laughs> Good. You talk. We're, we're you talk. Google you Google. answer her question. Okay. I'm going to so show you how to make a doc. In the Mac, uh, do you I'm in Mac? Google Drive. If you create. go into the Windows Media Maker yeah. or Screen Form. Automatic, there's ways to trim the video. Right. So if there's a part that you just want to see one little clip, the, you can go in and trim um, it, and then you can paste it C in a kind of like a Media Maker format. Right. Put it up on Dropbox. Okay, so you save it to your hard drive yes. at home or whatever. Right now it's on Dropbox. Email that link to yourself. And there's a way to do it. If you look in Dropbox, we'll get to it in a moment. If you go over to the paper clips, there's two little paper clips that are holding each other's hand. Click that, and it'll ask you either share or copy. If you want to edit that doc, or whatever you have up on Dropbox, you can share it by sharing the link. Say you want to send it to a collaborating partner, you want to share the link. If you just want to copy the link, that's different. Say you want to send that to your kids. You don't want them oh, in your stuff. That one. Excuse me. That won't allow them Sorry. To That's the big difference. So one will copy. Let me see if I can make this smaller. Share. share allows editing privileges. Copy does not. Really no, important. I can't do it. Okay. <laughs> it's like a vital thing. Oh my gosh, where's all my stuff? You know, someone coming in and Lord knows what's going on. Okay? All right. So Connie's going to show you how to do Google Drive. So the first thing I went, we went to was Drive. You need to have a Google account to do this. Make sure you have an email. You're in Drive, and then you're going to hit Create. From uh -huh. Create, you're going to hit Form. Uh, and that's choice. what she's in right now is Form. And she's making a survey. She's making an assessment piece. She's going to make something where she could grab their responses and drop into Wordle. Okay, these are all different ways to use this particular um, form. Now watch, so she's going to go in and she's going to do a multiple choice question. Always click at the very bottom, make this a requirement. You made it multiple choice and add item? Yes, when I went to add item, it gave me a choice. <coughs> What kind of response do you want this to be? But when you're also doing this, I know that we're going over, and if you want to leave, I'm not going to feel bad if you if you leave. Uh, but if you want to stay, great. And if you want to leave, you can leave. Um, you can also change the question when you're down here where it says question type. If, if I decide I don't want to do multiple choice after all, I can just change it down here. But when I add the item, they give you the first two. From that point on, you have to now... The, the, do the thing. Okay, so then I would put in whatever I want. You want to make sure that if you're doing this for an assessment for your kid that you make the uh, questions required. Okay, so it's done. So now what happens is that you get this form. You send out a form that looks just like this. Okay, it, it is also now has been transported back into Google Drive as a spreadsheet. So you then say, well, what do you want to do with this form? And you want to email it to your students, or you can print it out if, you're, if your students are using, um, you need to use paper documents. So you just push here, and then you put the email addresses of the people that you want to respond to this. So you would have a class list. You put it there. They send it out. You just send it to, um, I'll send one to Cheryl and Moody. Sorry. Okay. So we send it out, and then Sherilyn gets it on her website, but there's a link, and that link 
you put on the YouTube site in comments underneath a video, or you can give it to them to just watch the video and then they can hand it out. Okay? That's how you do that. All right, so I'm done. This is a 10 minute video, I'm done.